in this video, I'm going to show you how to use calculator to solve fourth degree equation. Okay. All right. Let's go over the example. So I have this example here. X to the fourth plus 7x cubed plus 11x squared minus 7x minus 12 equals 0. Okay. So on your calculator or this type of calculator, you hit setup alpha a2 and then it says polo, polynomial degree. So select 4. Okay. In order to uh, solve this equation using calculator you have to get the equation in this form ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equals zero so it has to equal to zero okay so if you have it in form of x minus one let's say x plus two times x plus two times x minus four times x plus three equals fourteen okay so one, two, three, four, so you have x to the fourth. You have to multiply all these out to get to this form and on the right side you must convert it into zero. So get rid of this 14 by subtracting, adding, do the calculation to get the constant e. So this 14 goes into this constant and you add all of these constants. So negative one times two times negative four times three add minus 14. On the right side has to be zero. Otherwise this method won't work, right? All right, now let's plug into the coefficient. So x to the fourth, I have one. And then seven, 11, negative seven, negative 12. All right, and then hit the equal sign. Let's, let's weigh a limit. Okay, so I got x1 equals one, hit the equal sign again. x2 equals negative one, hit the equal sign again. x3 equals negative three. And then x4 equals negative four. So here's all my four roots. So when you have a uh, fourth, for degree polynomial, you should expect to get four roots, four answers. Okay. Now let's go over another example. So let me exit out and go back. So you hit setup alpha a two and then four. So x to the fourth I have one minus two minus three. Now for x, what is it? You don't see it. That means that it's zero. And then constant is 0, 2. So that's it. Hit the equal sign. So you get x1 equals 3, x2 equals 0, x3 equals negative 1. One, two, three. Okay. So you uh, is it done? Not really. So keep in mind that when you get the answer, you need to think about uh, if it makes sense. So you have a fourth degree equation, right? So theoretically, you should expect to get four answers. But in this case, I have the calculator gives me three answers. So what about the the last one? Well, in this case, as you can see, you have x to the fourth minus x cubed minus three x squared. So literally, from this step, you can factor out x squared, right? And you're left with x squared minus 2, x minus 3 equals 0. And then set each of these equal to 0, solve for the unknown. So x squared equals 0, and x squared minus 2, x minus 3 equals 0. So x squared equals 0, that means that x equals 0. But because this is a secondary uh, equation, so it has to be square root of plus and minus 0. But because 0 is not positive or negative, so x1 is equal to x2 is equal to 0 so you have two uh, solutions for 0 so right here I have x2 equals to x4 is also, is also equal to 0 so now I got four equations so I got four solutions okay when you get to this uh, equation you can use uh, secondary polynomial equation That's to it. solve for it so how on your calculator you hit setup alpha a and then 2 and then select the degree polynomial degree so hit 2 Right, type in this equation you should expect to get uh, 3 and negative 1 okay so let me show you real quick 1 negative 2 negative 3 right you got 3 and then negative 1 so this is 3 to be clear all right hope it helps that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time